I was just uh, admiring your sneakers. Can you hold those up a little bit? I guess should we get that in the shot a little bit. What do we got? Little butterflies. You don't have to take them off. Just just kind of pick your leg like up this? a little bit. Make okay. sure. Yeah. So we see like this. Yeah. Little butterflies. Yeah, because uh, I mean this this sneaker is for the I mean is a memory for the Kobe and Gigi. Yeah. Because Kobe is my uh, favorite player. Yeah. So this memory is like they uh, rest in peace. So in China, rest in peace. You you will be a butterfly. You reborn to be a butterfly. That's great. So that's that means. And now you're wearing number eight. Is that for Kobe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because the, I mean, twenty four is um, uh, is too big for me. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean, number eight is maybe, uh, shout out to the young Kobe. Oh, that, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, yeah. it's interesting. You're you're from Hong Kong, right? No, I'm from I, I'm from Guangxi, but Guangxi, okay. I live in Guangzhou. And to see a young man like you, influenced by Kobe Bryant, all the way halfway around the world. I mean, the the, the sport of basketball, the NBA, is just global. It's amazing the the reach that it's had over the years. Yeah, I mean, everyone everyone love. Kobe because he's mental tough um, and you know the mamba mamba mentalist and mamba mentality mentality yeah, yeah. that impress a lot the young player in China and try to get us out so try to work us out hard to get outside to play outside off seas so we make a lot the NCA player and the most half they love Kobe. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's a, it's amazing that, it, for everybody thinks that young people admire uh, skills and athleticism, which they do, but to to admire that aspect of an athlete, that that mental toughness, um, I would imagine is that something that your culture values a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. But in in our country, we training too hard. It's very hard training. Yeah. And I can't say because we training maybe more than like two or three, three times a day training. So it's make us the the mental get harder. And when I get outside, I'm not afraid every hard training. Yeah. In outside. I, I do I do admire though the work ethic and I well, you said something about um, what you wanted to get from your experience coming to the United States and playing in the NBA. One of the things that you I, I read that you mentioned was that you want the benefit for your national team. Yes. Right. I mean that's a that's a really mature mindset to think. Well, I'm going to go make myself better so I can be better for my country. Yes, because, uh, you know, um, China have like 1.4 billion people, but yeah. how many in the NBA? So this is a very hard decision to uh, let me go through. I want to go out. I want to get in the NBA, but I still have to have the good skill athlete. And this is a pretty hard thing in this four years you need to get one player from china mm. you be a chinese you want to play nba and i go a different way to go to the nba someone is by draft and someone is signed a big contract but i go from the step to step i went to the julia league mm -hmm. i went to nba the nba draft but i get undraft and i work hard when the draft work out by core on the summer league mm. and wait for the contract. I mean, I go a very hard way to. It is. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, if you're going to be drafted late in the second round or, you know, you're worried about contract status, sometimes it's almost better to go undrafted because then you have a choice of where you want to go. Mm -hmm. So what led you to come here to Brooklyn? I mean, it's after the summer league. Because I, I, I think I played good when I played the workout in the net. 
but it didn't have any message. But <laughs> 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 it's, it's a little bit surprised with, if when I get a message from the net because I was playing for the Blazers. Yeah. And I play I appreciate my guys in the Blazers because they they very help on me and the coaches love me and I love the team too. And when I play in there and I didn't I didn't see I just met uh Sean in in the hotel mm. and I say hi and I know he's the next manager. And after the summer league, when I heard about the Nets send me a message, I was surprised of this. Yeah, uh, sometimes guys play it cool. You know, they want to make sure that they don't show a lot of interest so that other teams don't think they have an interest, and maybe they did. Um, but I mean, it, it, it sounds like you had a couple other opportunities, but being here in Brooklyn made sense for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's made like big chances for me. Yeah. Um, how much as far as, you know, having uh, ownership that's Chinese and uh, maybe some other players? I know like Jeremy Lin played here. Had that? Did that influence you at all coming here? He's my, I mean, he's my one of the teacher because I played with him like one season mm -hmm. in CBA. He's our team's import. That's that's a good experience. <laughs> I I I went to his room like a lot of time, like very often. I went to his room and sit and get some whiskey and heard about <laughs> his story in the, in the NBA. His crazy haircut or something. Try to show someone he got a crazy haircut in the Hornets. Right? <laughs> and after when he um have an injury in 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 Brooklyn, and he said he went back. He tried to. He still want to play basketball. He shared the experience for me and he because he said I'm I'm very open so outgoing yeah so I'm I'm, I'm good at the communicating in here so I might he said I'm you might he need to try the NBA don't afraid that's not that far away than he told me I enjoyed uh having Jeremy around I got to know him a little bit and um that period of time when he exploded on the scene with the Knicks they call insanity here in New York, you know, at that time was just, it's still talked about it, it may be a two or three week period, but it was, it was insane. It was little insanity, you know, yeah, when he was sad. here. Uh, I don't know if you remember that or you, that it, the it, bond was, was that? that news back then? Uh, yeah, of we course born. we know that insanity yeah. because, but that time I, maybe I like 10 years old. Or so. yeah. <laughs> I, I was still young, but I, we still heard about it because sure. all the, all the China, you know, the China basketball player, all know Jeremy Lin, Yi Jianlian, Yao Ming, yeah. and Wang Zhizhi. All, all the players, if, if you play in NBA, the China will be the China player and, and the peoples will know you. You were with the national team. Yes. Right? Um, you play with Kyle Anderson was on that team, right? Yeah. He... I mean, he was a rookie in the China team. I, I was that was my second year, but uh, when Kyle play, he's an amazing guy because when we play the Serbia in Shenzhen, he went to his hometown, his old hometown, in Shenzhen. Okay. You know, the Shenzhen is a uh, Guangdong, the part of the China. So he went back to his hometown. And he had. A, he and was born there. No, 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 his but... grandpa. Grandpa, oh, okay. I think his grand grandpa or grandpa. He and was there, and the grandpa's picture is still on there. Oh wow! And that's his connection to play. There's a connection the national with team. Him. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's from nearby. I mean, we're taping this in Brooklyn. He's from right across the river in Jersey City. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, with one of the great nicknames of all time. You know his nickname, Lee Kyle Kyle. Anderson. Lee Kyle? Slow mo. Oh, slow mo. Yes, right. Slow mo. And it's amazing because it fits, right? He he looks like he's doing things in slow motion, <laughs> but he gets it's so effective. Yeah, he, that 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 is his special. That's so special. It's like no one, it's like no one can learn learn a little bit from him. But without uh, Luca Doncic, Luca Doncic is still like a like a rhythm. It's it's you you they you, play at their yeah, speed you can't it seems like yeah. slow but it's not yeah yeah and you can't speed them up they play at their speed they yeah. get where they're gonna go uh you got a great personality i love talking to you great uh, smile i saw you out there joking around with some of your uh like jalen martin out there um when we we're here at media day um there's there's a there's a lot of young people on this net group 
right mm -hmm. now. Even the head coach is mm -hmm. young in his first experience. Uh, I, I would imagine this is, it's work, it's a business, you want to get better, but it seems like there's good camaraderie and fun for you as well here. For sure, because I I love to talk with with the guys in here because I know, uh, they know they know I I went to I went to China so I know I come from China so so it's pretty hard to get here so they they took care of me that's great they took care of me in the locker they tried to make me make me joke make me not <laughs> feeling boring in this team so I mean I like I love my teammate and the and the coach can you say your whole name for everybody so we know exactly how we should say it. Uh, if you want to say in Chinese, my real name is Cui Yongxi. Okay. In English name is Yongxi Cui. But my <laughs> English name is Jackie Cui. Jackie Cui. Your dad, my his da name? My dad is Cui Mingguang. Mingguang Cui. And he was a street ball player, yes, right? Yes, street ball, street ball player. And when he, he, he was famous than me when, when I... <laughs> When I play, when I play, in, when I play before the CBA team, he was famous than me, because he he, man, he's the legend in in the South, the well ball basketball player. Mm -hmm. He, until right now, I think he he told to me, before thirty years old, he running like seventeen years every day, running in the morning and keep play and he can dunk still right now 50 <laughs> years old really 50 he's still getting up and dunking yeah he's like 178 <laughs> centimeter did you grow up in that watching him play and things like that yeah, yeah. i did i did but i didn't know he's so great <laughs> when i when i was like 20 but i before i'm 20 i didn't know he he was so great yeah Be, uh i mean he he was play the uh, professional team like couple years in NBL in China. His record is like seventeen threes in the game. Wow, that's a, game one game. That's a lot. That's a lot of shots. That's a lot. <laughs> so that so when I know that after I I I turn twenty, that's amazing for me. But he did a lot of the the street ball stuff. The the fancy stuff behind the back and through the legs and uh, yeah, yeah. And, yeah and he, he always holding like a one hand one hand showing the balls anyway <laughs> that was and, like a fake we got to get him out here to uh at 50 go out play at, at rucker or something like uh, that okay okay i mean he he played good yeah he played good he can still play uh did, are those skills is it are we going to see those skills from you? Uh, yeah, I, I see. Maybe he played big three or something. <laughs> yeah, big three. There you go. An ice cube. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jackie, great to get to know you. Thank you so much for doing this. We appreciate it. Good luck here with the uh, Long Island Nets and the Brooklyn Nets this year.